another one. So my last video, I talked a lot about my weight loss journey. You know, I talked about how you know 80% of losing weight is what you eat. And I had a lot of people asking me, okay, well then, what did you eat? So I'm basically just gonna kind of give you a little rundown because y'all obviously want to know, right? So, so that's what's about to happen. <laughs> gonna tell you what I ate during them times and what I eat now. It basically has healthier choices for you guys. So y'all can eat healthier, so I can eat better. Y'all can lose weight like I did. Think about it like this. If you go work out, then you go eat McDonald's. You just put in the fat that you just worked off right back on your body. So let's just get into it though. All right, so first of all, um, stop drinking soda, period. That That's first on the list. First of all, soda is bad for your skin. Second of all, why would you drink Coke when you can clean your toilet with Coke? When you can clean the rust off of tools with Coke, why would you put that in your body? Oh, hell no! That's your business, okay? Second, salts. Seasoned salts, salts in general. Salt puts water weight on your body. So what I think you should do is switch out the salts from like spices. Like I use, instead of using Tony's as much, I use more cayenne pepper now. And also y'all, a lot of my food have kicked too because I like spicy stuff. But um, I also heard the grapevine that spicy foods speed your metabolism a little bit. So <laughs> I would definitely recommend adding a little spice to everything you eat. That's what I do. But I like spicy food anyways, but. Yeah. Also, let's talk about what I ate. I was a meal prepper during during that month or whatever for my party, and then like during uh, quarantine or whatever when I was working out, I was meal prepping a lot. But most of what I was eating, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, was baked chicken. Now I wanna thank y'all for chicken. <laughs> thank God for chicken. Didn't have to do it, but it did. I don't like when baking chicken and then get dry and stuff. I was using chicken broth on it to make it less dry. I had made some baked uh, chicken breasts and stuffed it with avocado. I was making different flavors like chicken wings, baked chicken wings and chicken legs and stuff. And then um, I had done some pan fried chicken thighs one time. It was also good. And then, you know, obviously I'm eating my vegetables, my green beans. I was cutting up zucchinis, cucumbers, uh, broccoli, cauliflower. I was eating all uh, asparagus. I was cutting up all these vegetables and putting them on the side, you know, because you gotta have your vegetables, your protein. If y'all ain't in your vegetable game, y'all need to be. Because I eat, I eat Brussels sprouts, me personally. But that's just me. Also, I was like, I made a lot of mashed potatoes too. Like I, I would mash my own potatoes, not that instant stuff. The real deal, okay? I ate a lot of that too, obviously. I didn't really eat a whole lot of fish. I know fish is healthy, but I didn't really eat a whole lot of fish. I, I recommend. I hate tilapia, y'all. Don't ever eat that. That's disgusting. But salmon, I haven't tried it yet, but I recommend it. And I have so many meals that I want to make with salmon that, yes, eat it. Because I heard it's healthy. I want it. Also, I was eating a lot of brown rice, obviously. Because I switched it out for the white, from white rice. And but another substitute for white rice is quinoa. Quinoa, I was eating a lot of quinoa and brown rice. Like I had this little these packets that I was getting of quinoa and brown rice mixes and I was making stuff like uh, broccoli cheese rice, but instead of the rice, I would put the quinoa and brown rice in there. I liked it, it was good to me. And sometimes I would eat that chicken to it. I liked it. People was looking at it like, ew, that looks nasty, but I loved it, it was good. I also stopped eating white bread so I switched it to like the um, nature's own wheat bread, but then I changed and started eating Dave's Killer Bread, that is what it's called. Um, it's delicious, they have, it's like, it's wheat bread but it's also got like nuts on it. Like it has like different seeds and good seeds and sprouted seeds. Just a bunch of different kinds of seeds around the crust of it. And sometimes on the inside too, but it, I like the bread. I love it actually. I recommend it. What else? I switched from the regular pastas to like wheat pastas. Then I switched over from wheat pastas to veggie pasta, cause that's really where it's at. It's so much healthier than the wheat pasta or than, than the regular pasta for sure. Cause that regular pasta just, just, just sitting in your stomach and catching all the fat. But that veggie pasta, I really love that. It don't even taste different, it's really good. That's the tea, I love it. And really and truly, I think in that same time frame, I was barbecuing a lot, y'all. Like I, I, I actually cook, so like, I know how to barbecue. I was barbecuing, you know, ribs, chicken, all that type of stuff. 
So that's, I feel like that's healthy because it's, it's barbecues, it's grilled. That was healthy. But also y'all, I was eating seafood like nobody's business. <laughs> it was crawfish season. So every chance I got, I had me about two, three pounds of crawfish. Seafood is healthier than chicken. So definitely recommend seafood if you if you want to have a, a healthy protein, you know, in your body. Cause I love me some crawfish, and some crab legs, and some shrimp. I can't get enough of it. Won't ever give it up. You know what else we got? I would get these little Zatarans rice mixes, but the healthier ones. There was one that I had. It was called um, roasted garlic roasted something, but it was delicious. It was like um, adobe, 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 something like that. And um, black beans, and it had brown rice in it. But they have a bunch of different mixes with like brown rice in them. I think one of them is like cilantro lime, and then they had um, Spanish style, and then they had, it's a bunch of different, like wild, uh, brown wild rice. There's a bunch of different kinds of flavors, and it's all healthy, healthy options because it's all brown rice or like made from vegetables or whatever like that. If y'all do decide, you know, to eat some kind of like whatever on the side of y'all's baked chicken or baked fish or whatever, those are some good options as sides. Two, I also ate a lot of um, beef stew. I was, I was, I got a slow cooker. So I would put that beef stew with the carrots and the onions and the little, in that pot for four to six hours, come back, put it over that brown rice or put it over that, uh, that mashed potatoes. Or sometimes I would even eat it without the, the rice or the, or the mashed potatoes, just like, like it was soup. Delicious. Or when I made that brisket, oh my God. I made that brisket twice because it was so good. I put that in the slow cooker too. It was heavenly and I had some uh, vegetables on the side of there. Y'all, cook is the, is the answer. But um, I also actually in that time frame ate vegan pizzas. That's what they were called. Uh, Daya's vegan pizza. It was like ca cauliflower crust and like meatless meat lovers. I actually, I know I'm not a vegan, but it was actually good. But I really only tried it because I wanted. To, well, first I wanted to see what it was like, but I I wanted to see what the cauliflower crust was like because I know some restaurants like you can go to some pizza places or whatever and get cauliflower crust instead of like. The regular crust because that's healthier which if you do decide to go to a pizza place find a place that will give you cauliflower crust yes for like snacks y'all want to eat or whatever when it comes down to trying to eat healthy and stuff i suggest like nature's valley those snacks are really good like the honey oats then they have like the granola ones the honey oat honey and oats and then they have these Oh, chewy, uh, the protein bar with the dark chocolate on the bottom because dark chocolate is way healthier than like regular chocolate. But they all, also got these ones that I saw that had like almond butter on them on the bottom. That sound good. Almond butter is so good. But um, some other stuff you could probably eat as snacks is like like the Nutri-Grain bars and um, trail mix. I ate a lot of trail mix, y'all, because you know it got the peanuts in it and all the other nuts and stuff, and then it got the little the little M Ms in it, and then got the raisins and stuff. I didn't even used to like raisins, so I started really eating the trail mix and stuff, the snacks and stuff. And plus, peanuts, peanut butter and stuff is like really good source of protein too. So definitely think that's a good idea for for that. Ooh, you know what else is good? Dried mango slices. I don't know if y'all ever had them. But I got, I had bought it from CVS one day and I had never, I, I just was trying to see what it was like. Go get you a bag of dry mango slices, some things are good. But besides just getting some dry mango slices, eating fruit as a snack is the best snack you could ever have. First of all, strawberries, mangoes, grapes, only green grapes, apples, only only green apples. I just realized I like raspberries, them things good. Um, pineapples. Get you a big old bowl or, or, or even a small bowl or plate or something. <laughs> That's better than sweets. We're better than candy. Really. But then you can also put a little Nutella on the side or a little peanut butter on the side. You know, dip it in there every now and then, you know. Because a little Nutella never hurt nobody and, and peanut butter is healthy. If you decide to go to a restaurant and some, some fast food place, whatever, there are some certain things that you could do to kind of help you out. Like for one, when I go to Burger King, 
I usually will go up there and get like, you know, an impossible whopper because I like those actually, even though it's plant based. I actually think that they're good. But, um, or even like a regular whopper too. But when I come home, I'll take the buns and switch them out for wheat buns because, yes, you know, things like that. There's certain places, certain restaurants that you can go to that'll do stuff like that. But even at the ones that you just can't do stuff like that, choose the healthiest stuff on their on they menu or like make, like, you know, if you, you can go to Cane's get their chicken, right? And then go somewhere and get a salad, cut the chicken up, put it in a salad, you know, things like that. If you're gonna eat these fast food places, I, I don't suggest eating them at all, but <laughs> if you eat it, you know, just find a way to make it healthy. But that's really it actually, cause I pretty much did y'all run down to everything that I eat. Just, you know, eat healthier. Eat some healthier options to make you so help yourself lose their weight. I know you want to. We all want to lose that weight. And in summertime coming up, Stone, you want to be fine, fine. You have to put that work in. But anyways, so that's it for me. <laughs> that's all I got. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. <laughs> Look out for my next video because it's coming soon. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to me. You know, because I care from you guys. I love y'all. That's really it. I'm done now. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>